The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, what a great privilege it would be for us to be in the fellowship of Lord God Almighty. Every day spending in His gracious time in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. The work of the Spirit in goodness, in righteousness, and in truth, says Ephesians 5 9. So that we could hate that which is lies, we could hate that which is unrighteousness, and we could not live the life that could be ungodliness to God. The Holy One of the Supreme Ones, saith our Lord. But we being the saints of the translation of English, of the great Most High God, will possess the great witnesses of God for eons and for eons and for futurity. What a great lesson it is for us to learn from this simple truth. But men who have to safeguard the real inheritance of God, though they became believers, they are changing the glory of Lord and the uncorruptible glory of God into the image of the corruption of man or quadrupeds or bipeds or reptiles or in fact even the flying creatures as birds and this is purely done because of the ignorance of the knowledge of Bible doctrine which has to be number one in their life this has been executed in our churches today purely because they have not come to the realization of the truth And it is of a very great pain for us to tell to you all again and again what it has to be by safeguarding the great glory and the honor of God in His name. It has been really exchanged to the corruptible image of man. The church, the outcalled one, which has to be the temple of living God in the pillar of truth. The ground and pillar of truth. Has become the synagogues of Satan purely because the man is not doing his duty properly in the fear of true Lord God Almighty. The true fear, the true modesty should tell. The problem is with us that we are not able to rightly divide the word of Lord. And many of the people have really neglected to know the truth. That's why many cults have been risen. That's why many men speak about against the word of God because they do not even know the same people who are in the same congregation of the Roman Catholicism, they do not know what is the word of the Lord. Then how come an unbeliever like Zachariah could know what is the word of the Lord and how come he could tell the reality of the word? But do you know what? Bible doctrine being purely spiritual phenomena has been neglected by these people. Bible doctrine which has to be from the pulpits of the mind of men who have to rightly divide the word of the Lord. Under the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, after believing only in Him, have failed to learn. So a moron who do not know what is this true fellowship, spiritual things to be taught in the spiritual realm of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, stands up in the pulpits and he wants to proclaim what it comes to his tongue. What he has understood, what he has thought, like a noble or some any of his other books which is reading to tell that they are really from God. Why there is a failure? Why there is no real integrity for truth? Why there is no real fellowship in the spirit? Because men love darkness rather than truth. Men love unrighteousness rather than righteousness of truth. And why it is? Because you don't have desire to be truly, to have your delight in the fear of Jehovah. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ set an example for us long before in the book of Isaiah and Jeremiah telling to the point. His fear, his delight was in the fear of Jehovah. 
his lions considered the fear of Jehovah to his to his lion to be tied. The righteousness of belt. Many men today they have lost the simple truth. Professing vice, they became fools, exchanging the uncorruptible glory of God into the image of corruptible men, who is going to be corrupted after his death. This flesh is going to be gone to the mud from where it came. And men are really worshipping men today rather than worshipping only the unique one, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Saint, pay for us. Saint, do this. Saint, tell that. And the popery they want to say, sainthood ship to be given at the end of their lives. But the Bible says, every believer is a saint at the moment of salvation before the foundation of the world. Lord has chosen you to be holy and blameless. Why these men have not been not known about this truth? Because of the popery, because of the catechism. But if it were not in the 15th century to fight back and get the freedom to hold Bible in our own hands and to study and to look and to teach if there are no proper teachers, God faithfully provided in each and every generation faithful pastor teachers who can rightly divide the word of the Lord. But this man did not have the desire to know the truth. To enter into that straight grate, only few will come, saith our Lord. The narrow gate, the straight gate. But to the broad one, many will come. So is the importance of doctrine today as well in our pulpits. To love doctrine, only two, three people will come. But to love other things of their prosperity, Thousands of people will go to pour oil in their mouth by that preacher, so-called whoever he is, is a miracle healer or something like that. And they want to believe that, they want to do that, they want to see that, and they want to want to work life in their real thing that now the Holy Spirit has been given to me and I'm ready for it. And they want to do this, they want to do that. And really, it's very pathetic for us to note the way they're doing business with God's word, blaspheming. Our duty is to rightly divide the word of the Lord, no matter what it comes. Whether you love it, take it or not, it is the word, the word, the word alone. Tomorrow, Lord will judge us according to his word. 1 John 2 tells, youth, you have come up, neon is cause. You are able to conquer the realm, or you are able to Nicolatine the realm of Satan's teachings, because the word of the Lord is in you. You can throw out the teachings of Satan. You can throw out the synagogues of Satan, provided you are stabilized in the word, in Bible doctrine, in the truth. But men don't love Bible doctrine today. They do not even know the difference between technia, paidia, and neoniscos. That your age is so much essential. When our Lord could do it in 33 and a half years and he has left because he has done it and achieved it, then that is a dead mark for each and every believer in Christ. By the age of 33 and a half, he has to attain by writing at least once Bible upon his knees and get back to do the ministry of Lord God Almighty. And the further years, what he goes on, 33 and a half, he is living the life of God. He is living the life of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to be executed, to be manifested in him. But men don't know this. They love that which is lies. They cherish that which is absolutely wrong. And it is of a very great pain that I am telling to you these things. Dear brethren, think over these issues as we shall continue in the next tape. Father, I grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through thy word. We pray that, Lord God, the Holy Spirit will not us on these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.